Hello and welcome to your throat chakra activation. This one has been a long time coming and I'm really excited about it. Um, but before you skip ahead, I do want to say that this one is, if you're looking for one that is sort of um, only where you sit and receive the activation, that's not how this one is. This one is going to be interactive. I've been told it's going to be, you're, you're going to be doing things on your side um, because it is the throat chakra. So we want to really help you to activate your throat chakra. Okay, so let's, we're going to talk about the throat chakra a little bit, then we're going to do the activation, and then we're going to talk about tools to connect with your throat chakra, and then we're going to do a closing light language and Reiki session. So the location of it is right in the center of the neck at the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is what regulates the processing of energy in the body through temperature and growth and metabolism. So we'll talk about that in a second of what can be affected. Uh, it's physically linked to, like I said, the thyroid, which regulates everything the mouth, the jaw, the tongue, the shoulders, the neck, anything in this area pretty much, the, the teeth, the gums. So we're talking like this area right here, the clavicle area. So the throat chakra kind of radiates out just like any other chakra. It hits, it actually hits the ear chakras. It works with the ear chakras. So, uh, and it overlaps with the, the higher heart also. So the throat, the higher heart, and the ear chakras, they all kind of work together, but especially the throat and the ear chakra, and it because it governs communication. So most of us know that the throat chakra governs communication. Half of communication is hearing, so the ear chakra and the throat chakra are very important together. I did a throat chakra, or I'm sorry, a uh, ear chakra activation also, and I'll link that below if you wanted to do that. So it also governs self-expression. So hearing, listening, speaking your truth, authenticity, who you are in the world. That's what this governs. That's what we're activating. So we'll talk about when it is balanced, when it's underactive and when it's overactive. So a person with a balanced throat chakra they communicate effortlessly. They speak very clearly. They listen very well. They're very good listeners. They're honest and they express. They express themselves in a healthy way. A person that has an underactive throat chakra, now they, they may not be able to speak at all. They may be overly shy or it, very introverted, unexpressive. They may have no expression. They don't show emotion. They may withhold the truth, not exactly lying, but lying by omission, lying by leaving things out, not volunteering the truth. They may have an overall low level of awareness. Now, an overactive throat chakra is where you get the people that are criticizing. They straight out lie. They lie. They interrupt. They dominate. They dominate the room. They dominate the conversation. They talk too much. That's an overactive throat chakra. Now, why does it get blocked? So this, the first thing we'll bring up is something that may not be you may not have heard before it's unhealthy foods and substances because those things they hit your mouth and your throat first so unhealthy we're talking fats and sugars and we're talking like if you smoke all of that stuff hits your hits your mouth and your throat first and it affects that energy center. It can't not affect that energy center. So why else does it get blocked? 
um, if you don't feel heard. And so then you don't feel like you can express. And it's just a circle. It's just a constant thing. Then you don't feel heard. You don't express. You don't feel heard. You don't express. So keeping things inside keeps it, keeps it blocked. Negative self-talk. Anything coming out of your mouth that is negative about yourself. That's the throat chakra. You're affecting the throat chakra. You're affecting other chakras when you do that. Also, you're affecting your whole energy system when you do that. But when you speak, it comes right from your vocal cords, right out. So that is affecting your throat chakra. Also, why it gets blocked is a deep fear of rejection. Fear of rejection. Fear of being rejected. What if, if I do this? This is going to happen. So it just keeps it. It keeps it tight, it keeps it small, keeps it blocked. So how does a blocked throat chakra manifest? Physically, of course, it could be a sore throat, anything with the throat, a sore throat, a cough, any kind of thyroid issues, including your temperature, your metabolism, anything with the neck, a stiff neck, any kind of neck issues, shoulder and clavicle issues, jaw issues, mouth issues in, in, in general, mouth issues, teeth, sores in the mouth. Any kind of issues in this area could be throat chakra related. Now, emotionally, how a blocked throat chakra could manifest is feelings of depression. Because if you can't express yourself, you're going to, that's, that is the ingredient for depression. Anxiety, low self-esteem. And these are just going to worsen if you can't express yourself. In like I mentioned earlier, I think you, you may not be able to speak. You could lose your voice. Lack of self-confidence. Now, everything that I just mentioned um, does not necessarily mean that your throat chakra is out of balance. It could just mean that there's a bug going around and you have a sore throat or you have a cough. Or you over-exercise and you hurt, your, you, you hurt your neck. You will know. Also, I think it's important to mention that there are chronic illnesses that these things do not, that, that this, it, it doesn't have to do with. You will know. You will know. When I, when I mentioned it and something triggered, and you, uh, you may have been like, okay, yes, that I have had a sore throat, and I, I do need to do this. I do need to open up my, my throat center. Okay. We're going to do the activation now. And like I said, this is going to be interactive. I'm not quite sure until I get into it here. Um, but you are going to be making sounds. You are going to be making tones, noises. Because again, this is your throat chakra activating. We want to actually activate it. We don't want you to sit there and just take it in. You can do that. But I'm not sure you'll get the full benefit of this activation if you do that. So if you're around people right now and you're not comfortable doing that, maybe co come back to this. Because we do want you to participate. I will let you know when, I will let you know when to repeat after me. Okay. Repeat after me. Ha. Repeat after me. 
E E E Okay, I'm going to continue and then we'll and then you'll repeat after me again. I'll let you know. He anchikata okotokishkan de kia da kakatoko toko 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 ya kataka toko koko toko 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 kisha and daka inka ya and to go. He I kata inka kriya inka da kata kun toko kia umto kisha a a a a a a a umto a a a umto ko o o o o a a da kashi and da and to o. He and da and kete kishi and da a a a a to ko o to a a da kaki kishi and da a a. Who and the guy at the oh, shan the arm put the oh. He cut the eye at the oh, the cat theatre got the oh. Cat the cat the cat the oh. Cat the cat the cat the eye at the cat the cat the yard and the oh. He cut the cat the cat the yard and the oh. He cut the cat the cat the yard and the oh. Okay, thank you. Okay, repeat after me. Kriya a cat the yard. Kriya akatia. However you hear that is fine, because I'm not going to write it. Hoi anteata. Okay, I'm going to continue, and then I'll let you know again. Hoi atashi anta o toko, ki anta gya keshi anta ko o toko, ki anta teka ankoto. Ha, ya anta ko toko ya, ya anta ki anta kata kata ko, ya kishi ki anta kata 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 ko, ki ki anta ka shi anta ka o. She anticanti at a go, oh, we are under a yap, and put to go yak, a kitty at the yam war. We are tayata, aya otoko, we are tayata, go on to go. Kiriata yantia, ayata kako, oh, to go the anchka at the ayata ka, oh, be anta, oh, kutoko shantia, the attack, oh, to go, oh, we are anta kaka, oh, biakata. Kia aya oto, oh, kia aya to go oto. Repeat after me. Kia, aya, oto, o. Kia, aya, oto, o. He anto. Now, I'm not going to do this because it. Uh, I don't have a microphone for this, but they do want you to make a high pitched high-pitched noise I don't want to do it because I don't want to hurt your ears make that high-pitched noise okay they want you to if you're comfortable putting your hands on your neck because I know some people aren't they don't like their neck touched but these are your own hands. If you're comfortable, put your hands on your neck however you're comfortable and just make a humming sound and feel that vibrations in your hand chakras. Hum. You'll feel it through your whole body. And that continue doing that after this activation. It will help this activation to set. Okay, I'm going to continue just a little bit longer here. Yanda o to o yanda yata o di unto o yanda ya ho at the coach and the ayat o yamba. Shanda yamba o yamba. Biamba yata biata kashkan do o to o yakata o to kota shant and go. O yata ya ya to o ya in the a a o o dear shant ka o. Mta ya ya yam to o yanda am to o ya shkata yata o koto ko o o. We're going to ground that energy. Ok. 
Take a deep breath. Some things that may happen from this activation, one thing that's almost certain is that you will, you will be very aware of your neck and throat area. It, it'll, you'll be aware of it. I know that sounds weird because you know it's always there, but you'll want to show it maybe. You'll want to... If you wear jewelry, maybe you'll want to wear jewelry closer to your neck. You may also get a sore throat, a, a slight sore throat, or if you had a sore throat, it may clear. If you have like throat issues, it may, it may have cleared, but you may have to go through a little bit of a clearing process in order for it to feel good, just like any activation. You may very well feel vibrations in your throat or in your entire body, really. You may have a slight headache because you just activated an energy center here. Uh, you may have um, sort of like highs and lows. Um, like you may have highs because you may be like giddy because you just made noises you don't maybe normally make. Um, so you maybe have those highs and then maybe you'll come back down because you don't know what to do with that it's regulating though it's regulating you may want to um, yell or sing or um, any using your vocal cords and do that you also may want to be quiet because you just did this and so and there's no time limit like it's I'm not gonna say you'll be quiet for a week and then you'll want to yell it, there's no time everybody's different so you yeah you may want to be quiet for a little while you may also want to start speaking your spirit language your light language this is very this very well could activate your own light language because I, I do believe the people that are drawn to my content may want to they, they have their own light language they want to speak so this is you may want to just start speaking uh sounds or tones or something you may want to start writing something down start uh, expressing yourself because that's what this center is okay so we'll talk about some uh tools to connect you with the throat center and then we'll do a, a closing light language and reiki session some activities that you can do to connect with the throat center uh, one of them is listening to frequencies so the 741 is what i've listened to 741 hertz frequency if you just search that there's a ton of stuff out there on it I, but i've also seen different frequencies for the throat chakra. Test them out, see which one you feel like hits that center. But I think the 741 is, is good for this whole area right here to open it up. Also, you can do uh, neck stretches and head rolls, anything moving, moving your shoulders, anything moving this area, taking your head and moving it as far in the directions as you can, stretching the neck. So as we were talking about before, singing, yelling, humming, anything that uses the vocal cords, conversing, having a conversation with somebody, networking, networking, talking, journaling, writing, uh, sound bowl healing, and music healing. And of course, um, 
bringing your light language through. Listening to others' light language will help to bring it through. Crystals to connect with. Uh, blue, anything blue, really, that light, bright blue. Um, blue lace agate, azurite, uh, angelite, celestite, turquoise is really good, turquoise, amazonite, um, blue calcite, and there's also different blue quartz. So that blue color, put it at your neck while you're expressing yourself. Program it, clean it, program it, put it at your neck and see what, see what frequencies come through you. Even if you don't wanna speak light language or, or sing or anything like that, opening the throat chakra helps you to be creative, helps you to express. Okay, so some herbs, some, some plants, herbs, of, of course, um, or food, blueberries, of course, bayberry, sage and clary sage, chamomile, slippery elm bark, spirulina is probably the my favorite out of this one, and kelp. So if any of these sound like they, like they triggered something for you, maybe look it up. The colors to associate, of course, I think I mentioned already with a, like a light bright blue, a silvery blue, and turquoise. The color of turquoise is all through expression creatures to connect with are uh, any bird really but songbirds and blue jays of course and bluebirds bluebirds the wolf the wolf is actually for the throat chakra think of the wolf howling the blue-throated hummingbird blue-throated hummingbird the blue whale. Now the blue whale, if you feel connected to whales or dolphins, look up the blue whale and listen to blue whales communicating that, that song that they do to each other. It will help your ear chakra and your throat chakra to connect, listening and hearing, listening, I mean, listening, Hearing and communicating, talking, listening and talking is what I want to say. <laughs> so the blue whale. Also, if you feel connected to that, you may want to look up the Sirius star system. Maybe you have roots there. I, I felt like bringing that up. Maybe that has something to do with your throat chakra since this is a throat chakra activation. Okay. Let's do the closing. There's a lot of information. If you stayed for the whole thing there, that was a lot of information. And we're just going to, we're gonna wrap it all up. Feel divine white light hitting your throat area, sealing this activation. Sit with that a while, as always, rest, drink water, listen to your body, 
you're going to be, like I said earlier, you're going to become aware of this area. You may spontaneously want to write or just express and do that. Okay, we're going to ground all the energy here. Okay, thank you for being here, and I will see you next time.